I'm going to go through the differences between custom vocabulary and categories. Here I'm in app.fireflies.ai slash settings, and I'm scrolled down to the custom vocabulary section. What custom vocabulary allows you to do is improve the speech to text accuracy. And when you're in meetings, you're going to be using unique words, names, nouns that Fireflies might not be familiar with. Maybe some people's unique names are harder for the system to recognize because they're not common names. And what this will allow it to do is it'll help train the system when it sees or hears or processes any word that looks similar to the unique words that you talk about, it'll recognize it correctly. For example, if I'm in sales and I'm in car sales and I'm using the word Chevy, right? Chevy, the car. And if I'm saying it really quickly, the system might misinterpret that and maybe, for example, think of that as chili instead of Chevy. So one way I can improve the speech text accuracy is by actually typing in, okay, I say Chevy a lot in my meetings. Let me just add this to the custom vocabulary so that next time I talk about it, Fireflies actually gets it right um, when it does a speech to text transcription. So that's what custom vocabulary is there to do. It'll really help augment and improve the accuracy of the speech to text. Now let's talk about categories. So when I click on categories, what that'll do is it'll take us to uh, a section where I can find and create categories of different topics that I'm talking about in meetings. The goal of categories is to help you search through those in that information really quickly uh, later on when you review the call. So I have categories I've created for integrations, for pricing, for role, for payments. I can do anything. So I'm in sales, so I might be looking for on calls when they're talking about objections. So I'm going to create a category for objections. And usually when they talk about objections, they want discounts. So I'm going to type discounts and enter. Maybe they want to do something about pricing. Uh, they're talking about approval, talk about permission. They need to get their boss's permission. You know what it is. And so now I have that. I can add that in. And now I've just created a category for uh, that topic around objections. And so when I'm reviewing the meeting later on in the smart search component, there will be custom category modules that'll help me quickly search through to parts of the calls where these topics were discussed. So let's actually hop into a call where this was happening. So I go to the custom category section of smart search, and then I can click, okay, integrations. Where are we talking about integrations? And I click that. And it really quickly takes me to the parts where I was talking about integrations. So the goal of in a, in a great, or the custom categories is to help you search through your calls quicker for topics. Whereas the goal of custom vocabulary is to help increase the actual word recognition. So that's the difference between the two. Both are really powerful features. One, custom categories helps you search through your calls very quickly. And custom vocabulary helps improve the accuracy of the speech to text. So that's the difference. Hope that's helpful and hope you get to a chance to use both of those features.